Hey everyone, Jameson here with TechSeeker.net, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Facebook Messenger to Pigeon IM. Recently, there was a bit of an issue um, brought up, and apparently, XMPP access to Facebook is just not working. Um, Pigeon is aware of this, so they're thinking about incorporating a new way of connecting to Facebook. Uh, into their application, but that's for the future. For now, we need to install a third-party plugin ourselves, um, but hopefully, with any luck, this video will be irrelevant in the future. So I'm going to take you through the process. It's very painless, and uh, just to preface this a bit, I am using the portable apps version of Pigeon, but if you have the desktop version, it's just going to be a difference in what locations you're looking at, so it's not that difficult. Um, so if you just have vanilla Pigeon, you'll start it up, and it's a little confusing because you'll see the old Facebook XMPP option. This is confirmed not working. So what we need to do is completely close out of Pigeon so we can install the plugin. And you can find these at uh, Jigabowski. I don't know how to say your name, sorry, but good work. Uh, Jigabows, J Jigabowski's uh, GitHub, and he's created a third-party plugin that you can use to connect to Facebook Messenger, and it works great. So links are in the description for this. You just need to download these two files, and um, yeah, we'll move on to the next part of the video. So once you have the .dll files, we just need to place them in their respective locations. Uh, this will be your install directory for Pigeon, so if you have the regular desktop version, it's probably going to be in your program files um, on your C drive. I'll include something in the video just to make that a little easier if you're not familiar with that part of Windows. If you have portable apps, it's a little more difficult, but it's really easy to find, so <laughs> not, th not too bad. So we just need to launch it. We can right-click Pigeon. Click Explore here. That's going to bring us to our flash drive. We can open up App, Pigeon, and this directory should look pretty much the same as our desktop users, so you can follow along from here. In this root directory, we just need to place our libjson. This is the 1.0 version. Then if we go down one more into Plugins, we can place libfacebook. And that's it. We just need to relaunch and we should have an additional Facebook option. So, as you can see, there's Facebook XMPP and there's a regular Facebook, so we want to select that one. And you want to do your Facebook username, which is actually your URL. If you don't know how to find this, I'll include a link in the description. Uh, your password, hopefully I am guessing the right one here. <laughs> And your local alias, not required, it's just if you want to shorten up your username on your local end for organizing multiple accounts, and it's probably not necessary. So go ahead and click Add. Yeah, bunny list. There we go. Oh, what's that? Oh, I. this is convenient. Okay. <laughs> so this is my girlfriend. She's drawing Skyrim characters, and that one's actually kind of scary. I, my character in Skyrim uh, is Mr. Mittens, <laughs> just to be ridiculous. And uh, that must be like her dark elf or something? I don't know. We're kind of nerds, and now this is really embarrassing, but this works. <laughs> so one more tip before you guys go off into the wilderness. Um, I would recommend turning off sounds for when whenever anyone uh, logs on or offline. Just because if someone gets cell service and loses it, it's going to be constantly pinging you. So if you go to Preferences or Control-P, go to Sounds, Buddy Logs In, Buddy Logs Out. Um, I'm not sure if you can localize this to just kind of one service, but um, I'm only going to be using this for Facebook right now. So it works. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you know, leave them down below, like the video. And uh, thank the guys at Pigeon and Jay Gabowski for creating this great software. So thanks for watching, guys.